Tatiana Kosheleva, Olympian, world champion, two European gold medals and two MVP awards to match. Now a decade since her world title, I called to catch up. We took a trip down memory lane, talked about celebrations, friendships, the locker room secrets, English lessons, and maybe one more Olympics. Hello, Tanya, how are you? Hello, I'm perfect, thank you. And you? Oh, perfect, I tell you what, that's a lot of positivity. Um, yeah, I'm really, really well. But you say perfect. I don't think I've ever felt perfect. Uh, what is it that's making you... What is it that's making you feel so good? Uh, because of I stay at home, you know, I am, well, every time I miss so much uh, this uh, apartment. And uh, sometimes I, need, I think everybody needs to stay a little bit alone and have a time just for think, mm. think about good, mm. about the future, about uh, family, about what I want to do. If when I start to have a time and when I uh, have a chance to move, what I need to do, this is good. Hmm. So because of this, I'm my uh, <laughs> my brain and my mind is positive. So, what does a normal day look like for you at the moment? Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to be honest. Sometimes <laughs> I'm so lazy. <laughs> I don't want to be a lie and say, oh, every day I do something for my, I don't know, body. No, sometimes really I'm lazy because uh, I don't know when this date, uh, when we start to do something, when we start to work like normally. Okay, my normal day started like uh, I woke up, go to the <laughs> bedroom and <laughs> brush my teeth uh, and go to do some exercise. I need to do this uh, stretching and uh, some exercise for my knee, body, or take a tonus, good tonus, and save my body in good shape. Mm -hmm. After I have a good breakfast with my husband and uh, I start to study. Okay. Yes, I start to study in some university. It's a really very important and uh, a good step for me. Uh, I know my career after a few years uh, stop and I start to think about the future also. I have some uh, interesting things <laughs> and start to study. Don't ask me uh, where. Okay, okay. <laughs> this, is, this is the secret. Uh, oh. I'm a little bit shy about this because when I have confidence, I say for everybody what I do now. Uh, I'm also well. Yes, English grammar. <laughs> I wanna uh, speak more, more, and more good uh, English because now I'm not good, but I try to be uh, better and better. I disagree because your English is a lot better than my Russian. It doesn't sound like you're being lazy, but it must feel like the first time in maybe all your life that you that you've actually really been able to relax yes it's true it's first time in my life i have the time for myself mm. are you enjoying it uh, yes my, <laughs> i don't know i think it's a good chance uh, to prepare my body my mind everything for a big tournament for olympics for example <laughs> it's a big yes be careful <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, because you know, every time when you have this schedule, uh, tournament, uh, championship, national team, some uh, injuries, I have a lot of injuries in my career. It's, these injuries take a lot of time from my career. Uh, finally, I have time for myself and totally rest. It's uh, because of this, I say I feel perfect. Good. Good. Yes. No, nobody pressure me. Nobody say you must to do this. You must. Also, I don't. I stop to pressure myself. I have a time for relax, and after step by step, I back to the court. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you missing it though? Are you missing being part of a team and, and getting out there and playing for the for the crowds who love you? I want to be honest. Uh, I start to miss now. Uh, okay. not, not immediately I start, no 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 now uh, I start to watch some games yes our uh, 
old games, last games from uh, Olympic also, from Champions League, some games I like to see. Uh, I start to miss you, of course, because it's my life. I like volleyball. I love volleyball. Good. Well, uh, one thing that I've been using this time to do is take a bit of a trip down memory lane and remember past memories that are that are really positive and really sort of make me happy. So I'd like to show you a video, if that's okay. Uh, I want you to tell me what your memories of this are and mm -hmm. how it made you feel, because to my calculations, this is 10 years old. I think you want I start to cry. <laughs> it's amazing. I want to tell you, this is amazing. I wish for, of, for all the sportsmen to have a chance to feel it. This is amazing, really. I love everybody who in this video. When you achieved it, because you were so young and it was, you, you were part of a, of a, of a pretty in incredible team, Yes. Did you realize the, the magnitude of, of what you've achieved? Uh, in that time, I didn't understand uh, what we won, you know. And it was the uh, first time this big tournament, you know. It, uh, if, if I start uh, to remind him <laughs> and uh, imagine this uh, memory, I can't believe it's so... Uh, 10 years, it was 10 years ago, you know, and now, okay, I want to say like this, if we won this tournament now, I celebrate totally different. You know? <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, because I was so young, you know, I didn't understand totally. Mm. And I was so pressured for myself. I say, mm, maybe in the final I must be more, I know, uh, not positive did less mistakes you know this is my mind stupid my mind <laughs> now it's totally different now if we win something like this call me <laughs> <laughs> we go and celebrate amazing um, I so, promise. so on the day then you got yourself to a world championship final and you were facing brazil another incredible team yes. when you all arrived uh, that day and you'd got your kit on and you were out on the court and you were doing the warm-up did you think you'd win i'm very good remember this day uh also we have funny story i told this story in russian magazines but i don't know maybe you don't know this uh of course it's i remember how we go to morning practice what we did uh, about what we speak spoke also i remember uh, we spoke with Katya Gamova, we say this last day for us. Uh, we, we, we don't need, uh, no chance to feel uh, tired, you know. In, in this day, uh, we have six months prepared for this tournament. Immediately we forget, forgot about everything. Just uh, like horse, you know, <laughs> like machine train, big train, yes. I remember very good uh, this day. And when we came to the gym, before the game usually in the semi-final in the final uh, semi-final and before we have uh, our locker room mm -hmm. and changing room and uh, <laughs> we saw uh, they have like paper in our changing room they put in brazil team and we say no it's our <laughs> because we came uh, to the gym uh, early then brazil team we changed <laughs> <laughs> yes we change it and uh, go in uh, but it was uh, in Tokyo, you know, yeah, for yeah. Japanese uh, people, it's like, uh, I don't know, criminal. They say, no, impossible to do like this. <laughs> we say, be, okay, be calm, it's okay. For us, it's very important. And I remember how we laugh <laughs> and say, okay, we change it. Of course, we win. <laughs> yes, and when uh, after this big uh, winner, win and we back to the our changing room we say yes we yeah. did yes <laughs> we, did good job for, we did good job for our uh win today 
masters of your own destiny amazing uh, in terms of the game itself then because you were one zero down and then two one down did you ever think oh this is getting away from us it's not going to be our day today or did you always believe yes uh, but i had uh, amazing partners mm. you know my pff, amazing i was young but Katya Gamova, Luba Sakalova, it's amazing partners and amazing all the teams and also coaches. Mm -hmm. And our head coach, uh, Vladimir Kuzutkin, said for us uh, every day before, really, believe me, it's very important for all, all of sports fans. Uh, we, sometimes we have some meeting uh, during the preparation before this tournament and he told us, you're the best girls. You're amazing. You're the best spikers on the world. Uh, it's like this, you know, every day. And also in this moment, when we, our game was like this, like waves, not for good, bad. And uh, he spoke uh, with us, like, very calm. He said, please listen to me. Do what I tell you. And we will see. We will have result. Also in f f five sets, uh, he spoke with us with totally confident, you know, and give us this amazing, God. amazing memories, amazing team. Everybody who made this result was uh, always in my heart. I, uh, I love hearing about these memories. Thank you so much for sharing that. I mean, when you talk about it 10 years on, does it still feel a little bit like, you're there can you sort of close your eyes and just imagine it the sights and the smells and the feelings and those kinds of things yes uh now for me it's more important than before believe me because i don't know i i will have the chance to feel something similar or not because of this i save this memory in my heart and you're right when i close my eyes immediately i'm Thanks full for, uh, for all of people who stay around me in, the, in that time, mm -hmm. who gave me this chance to be there. Uh, yes, and I say, thanks God, you gave me chance to feel it. <sighs> Sorry, just giving me a little bit of goosebumps there. Oh, thank you for sharing that, that was amazing. Because um, you've played, well, where have you played? You've played Russia, you've played in the Italian League, Turkish League, Brazil. Is there anywhere else? In China. <laughs> in China. Oh, China. How can I forget China? Oh my goodness me. Um, like, is there, is there anywhere else you'd, you'd love to play? Or have you kind of ticked all of those boxes now? Mm -hmm. uh, this is a difficult question because I, first of all, I just like to play volleyball. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you ask me why, I every time change my team and countries, because I have a good chance, volleyball give me this chance mm -hmm. to see all the world yeah. i can uh, live and change the countries and stay and uh, learn you know from another country i have a good friendship i meet a lot of amazing people amazing professionalists uh, sportsmen coaches uh, i i don't know who is the best because really i'm so lucky god gave me amazing people and it's true. Let's play our game then. It's called Simply the Best. I'm going to ask you a series of questions and mm -hmm. I just need you to give me the first answer that comes into your head. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, this is Simply the Best. Starting with the best sport that isn't volleyball. Mm -hmm. What is the best sport that isn't volleyball? I don't know how to say English, uh, figure skaters, you know? Oh, I, yeah, okay. Yes, I, I say good. Yeah, but perfect, yes. perfect. I, um, I have, yes, amazing. I know my, <laughs> I'm very tall for this sport, but it's amazing. I like to see, uh, and gymnastic also, I like. Uh, also sports that Russia are great at as well. Yes. <laughs> uh, who is the best Russian player of all time, in your opinion? Uh, from volleyball? Yeah. Um, in Europe and if all the world, I, I can say a lot of also in the, can I say not just one? Uh, if you like. Yes, because I like, can I say not just from, from Europe because. <laughs> no, no, best, 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 oh, oh, okay, best Russian, best, best, the best Russian player, the best player from Russia ever. 
Ah, Lubo Sakalova. Lubo Sakalova. For me, it's like this. Okay. Uh, if you ask me from Europe, I want to say because uh, I'm really enjoy when I see some amazing players. Uh, I wa- I like to lo- uh, learn from them. It's now it's amazing, of course. Uh, Tiana Boskovic, uh, Paul Igonu. Uh, I'm really like. Uh, oof, uh, Luciana Bazetti. I wish to her healthy because she has problem with her shoulder, but I hope she will get soon. Uh, really, will have a, now world change, generations change, and came a lot of amazing young players also. The best music or the best song to listen to before a game? Mm-hmm. I don't like listening music before okay. the game, but uh, I prefer to read the book because oh, okay. I, I can change my. Um, you know, don't concentrate a lot of about the game. This is important for me to save my uh, power and uh, emotions. The best, but, oh, but okay. I like Ludovico Inaudi. Okay. The best atmosphere you've ever experienced. Mm-hmm. What was uh, the this best? This is from uh, volleyball. Yeah. Oof, I like friendship. You know, when we stayed like this. For me, it's very important. Without this, you know, if team like this feel same, have same target, uh, support each other, uh, respect each other, respect uh, time uh, for each other, it's amazing. We can do everything. We also can lost, lose the game, but how we do it together? This is for me, it's amazing. The best moment of your career. Mm-hmm. Best moments. I have a lot of. Sorry, your question. Uh, it means I. I can say not just one answer. I have the best moments when I back to the court. Okay, in Brazil, it was in Brazil uh, after these big injuries, and uh, we won these small tournaments, Carioca tournaments in Brazil, and I started to cry. First time in my career, really, I started to cry and all my teams hug me like this. I feel amazing love and support from all the fans, from my teammates, from the coach, from all the world, you know, it's amazing. I say some God kiss me in this moment. Has that, been, has that been the same everywhere? Well, but actually, let's start with Brazil. What was it like playing there? Because it's such an amazing sporting country and they love their volleyball. What was it like to play there? Uh, good question. Uh, I go to Brazil um, after my big injury. And Bernardinho, I, want, I have a chance to say thank you very much, Bernardo, for your support and love mm-hmm. and professionalism uh, for me. Because it was a very difficult time. And what I have, amazing. When I uh, uh, arrived there, in the first day, I have immediately everything for my best life there <laughs> really uh if we think uh, think about volleyball i have the best management the best teammate the best coach in the world yeah. i have ocean yeah every, yeah every day i live uh, five minutes from my home to uh, copacabana can oh. you imagine that <laughs> yes if you called me before uh, i can give you offer <laughs> invite to <come. laughs> yes so if I to come to me, uh, me and my husband can show you another world. You, you, it's amazing. Brazil, it's amazing. When you had that knee injury then and you went to, to Brazil, it was the first time you were on the court um, mm-hmm. when it got better. And, and thankfully, it, it's better now. Did that sort of change your outlook and your attitude, both to, to sport and life in general? Uh, it was a difficult period because of this. I must to understand Tani is not the same. Mm. It is the very difficult period because uh, I back to the court, I think it's very easy for me. Okay, I will take the point. I will, I will jump like before. No, I was so slowly. I was uh, so heavy, not because I fed, but because my body is changed, you know. And I need time, but I didn't understand at that time I need time. And because of this, Brazil was amazing for me because Bernardo uh, spoke with me every day, 
and also my doctors, my uh, teammates, everybody told me, my husband, my family, wait, be calm, it's normal process, you, ju you just need the time, but my character don't give me <laughs> this time, my character push me every day, and I say, no, I will do, okay, okay, maybe one month more, and I will back, but no, it's happened so slowly. Mm. But you, you're back now, and it was quite public when you decided you were taking a break from the national team, the one that you've done so much with, you know, your European Championships, your World Championships, two times Olympian, all those MVP awards. I'm surprised you've got enough room in the apartment for all the trophies. Um, but with Tokyo being a little bit later now, do you think a third Olympics is something that, that you could achieve in a Russia jersey? Uh, I didn't play in uh, this good question because all the fans continue to ask me okay. uh, why you don't play. I have a chance, big chance to answer again mm -hmm. uh, in English language also. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't play in the national team because of my injury okay. and because of my, I'm not uh, ready. You no, know? I wasn't ready for national team. National team, it's um, our the best time in career. You know, you must to right. show everything. And also if I go, there i take a chance from somewhere from my team yeah. i take their chance you know to be in the team uh i mean if i'm ready i'm ready totally my mind my body my power uh, i want to give something best and positive in that in this time because of this i didn't play but uh Tokyo, if Tokyo Olympic Games uh, be now, mm -hmm. of course I will be there. Of course I will be with my team because now I'm totally, finally, <laughs> finally I'm totally ready. <laughs> well, when I called you, you said you were feeling perfect and now I can see why because this conversation has made me feel amazing. Uh, I'm going to let you get on and enjoy the sunshine, but before I do, uh, have you got a word for the fans? Because I'm sure they would love to hear some positivity from you. I'm really lucky person because uh, around me I have amazing people, amazing fans who gave me support in uh, every moment in my career, in my life. When I play good, when I play bad, doesn't matter. I have a lot of best uh, memories and best wishes from you guys. And please, now I have a chance to say for you, finally. Please, in this difficult moment, be positive, be healthy, do something for your good uh, feeling, for your mind, for your body, for your soul. Stay together. We are, I know we are big planet, but stay together. If we stay together, together we can do something amazing. I love all of you. I wish uh, you will be happy every day. Big hug, big love from me, and big kiss. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Uh, take care of yourself. I'll speak soon. Yes, and thank you very much, Dave. And that was Tanya Koshaleva. What a ray of positivity. Positivity because her knee's better and she's going to be back playing again. Positivity because she's still completely in love with the sport. She seems in a really, really good place. And I'm certainly all the better for it. I hope you guys are too. Um, she said she was practicing her English, but it sounded pretty good to me. Maybe I should get some books and practice it myself. Uh, there is another Russian player who is working hard to practice their English and they are going to be a mystery guest on the A Space podcast and on Unscripted as well. So if you've not already started listening to the A Space, do so. You can play the game, follow the clues and see if you can guess who that is. I'll give you a clue. It's not Tanya Koshaleva, uh, but it is another brilliant guest. Uh, but Tanya, I think we'll all agree, was one of our best. Um, still all good here. I'm going to go now because uh, it's time to do the dishes and I don't want to get in trouble. But I hope you're happy and healthy. Let me know. Get in touch because you know by now that I love to hear from you. But until next time, bye-bye.